For our coverage of the Republican presidential frontrunner Herman Cain's Cincinnati visit, I looked in detail during last night's reality check at Cain's 999 economic plan. The fact that Cain wants to eliminate the current confusing tax code and replace it with, number one, a flat 9% federal income tax on every worker, two, a 9% corporate tax rate, and three, a national 9% sales tax, the 999 plan. But there are still questions about what, how this works and what prevents future Congresses and administrations from raising those 9% rates. Today, I took those questions directly to Herman Cain himself. Well, there are two major questions surrounding Herman Cain's 999 plan. Let's start with the first. To begin with, only 53% of Americans pay federal income tax. Under Cain's plan, that number would go to 100% of all workers. Whatever you make, the feds would tax at a rate of 9%. Cain says his fix for that is the elimination of payroll taxes. Right now, the Fed takes 15.3% in payroll taxes, says Cain. So, under his plan, you would actually have a pay increase from check to check of 6%. But after that reality check aired last night, I got this email from Dave, who says, One correction on tonight's 999 reality check. The feds do not take 15.3% from your pay. It is 7.65. 6.2% FICA, 1.45% Medicare. The other 7.65% is the employer's match, but it is not deducted from the employee's pay. Well, Dave is exactly right. The only people who pay 15.3% are self-employed. So I took advantage of having Herman Cain right here in Cincinnati and I asked him Dave's question. Even though the employer is paying 7.65, that, really, that money really belongs to the worker. So the 15.3 we replace with 9%. So you got a 6% improvement in total for the worker. So the, the idea is that the employer would then give that money back to the worker instead of paying it to the feds? No. The 7.65 that the, that the employer is paying right now as their part would go back to the employee. The, the idea. 15.3 percent is Got the it. total amount. Got it. The 9% is no longer the 15.3. So the employer, the employee doesn't pay 7.65. The employer doesn't pay 7.65. The employee now pays 9%. It's their money, even though it was coming from the employer. But that is not entirely true. It may be that some kind-hearted employers say, rather than paying this money to the feds, we'll put it into your paycheck. But it's not likely. The 7.65 that is deducted from your pay, as Herman Cain said, is your money. But the 7.65 match paid by your employer is their money. And they're probably not going to pass it on to you. That means with a 9% federal tax on income, most workers would not get money back. They would see an increase out of their paycheck of 1.35%. Now for the second question, I told you that one of the major flaws in the 999 plan would be that there is no guarantee that future Congresses or administrations would keep the tax rates at 9%. I challenge Kane on that point as well. How do you keep this plan from becoming the 15-15-15 plan? I Last time a tax increase hit me, I don't even know what it, where it was. For example, if you look at President Obama's proposed so-called jobs plan, there were 84 sneaker taxes in there. And so the fact that the 999 is visible, the American public are going to be the ones to hold Congress's feet to the fire to keep it from becoming 12-12-12 or something else. And there is one more thing you should know. Mr. Kane told me today that under this plan, not everything you buy will be subject to the 9% federal sales tax. A lot of people are concerned about this one. He says it only applies to products that are purchased new. So if you want to buy a car, buy a new one and you pay the 9% tax. But he says buy a used car and there is no federal sales tax. Kane says the goal is to empower Americans so they can control how far their dollar goes. And that is reality check. Got to say, I really appreci appreciate Herman Cain standing there, taking the questions, taking the time to talk with us. If you would like to comment on the story, and I'm sure you'd like to, you can make your voice heard on my Facebook page. And look at how many likes I have. It's the 999 likes. Just search Ben Swan, WXIX.